Hold! Speak to me before entering more nerds, citizen. Welcome to Mournhold, capital city of the Ebonheart Pact. We track all visitors. Upon arrival, everyone must see a registrar who will record your name and business in Mournhold. Thank you for your cooperation. Deshawn has become a chaotic, dangerous place. Why shouldn't we instill a degree of order in our most prominent city? A little inconvenience is a small price to pay for your continued safety, citizen. Speak with Registrar Revel in the city center. Take the stairs up to the central building, and you should find him in the courtyard there. Do not dally. It is illegal to enter Mournhold without being registered. Stranger, may we speak? Word of the plague in the west has reached Mournhold. We were told to watch for someone matching your description. It's good to have you in the city. Yes, of course. I have orders from the Tribunal Temple to register you and grant you access to the city immediately. The Sacred Lady, Armalexia, requests that you attend her in the temple at your earliest convenience. Yes, yes, I already said that. Weren't you listening? It's a rare honor to receive an audience with the Sacred Lady. You should go now and leave this lowly clerk to his duties. We can't all have appointments with the Divine. Greetings, Sarah. A moment, if you please. About time you showed up. I was going crazy waiting out here. This place isn't exactly on my list of favorite places to hang out, you know. No, I just enjoy hanging around the temple. I love all the gnashing of teeth and hypocrisy. Yes, I was waiting for you. Look, don't get too excited. There's trouble brewing and I don't have a contract, so I can't officially get involved. The mob are in the city. 
They saw what they did in Narcissus, and I don't want to see the same thing happen in Mournhold. I'm not supposed to care, but I guess I'm getting a little soft. You've got the clout. Wait. You got a date with a sacred lady? You really are something. Look, tell her about the Marlborn. Maybe she'll let you look into this. I normally wouldn't think of using her, but this is important. And I know Omalexia cares about the city. And I'll see if I can find out where the Marlborn are hiding. I'll meet you at the Flaming Nyx, the corner club southeast of here. Oh, and listen. Don't breathe a word about me to Ormalexia. Promise you'll do that, and I'll help you save Mournhold. Welcome to Mournhold, my child. Your name is known to the Tribunal. You are wise to heed my summons. You have helped my people, and through your actions you have aided me. I sense that your accomplishments thus far are only the beginning. My registrars have given you access to the city, but I would like to personally thank you for your deeds. Nonsense. I take pleasure in rewarding those who serve my will. May this lantern provide you light in even the darkest situations. But I sense something troubles you. Tell me, fear not to speak your mind in my divine presence. I sense that there is more to your story, but I won't pry. I trust your instincts and your judgment in these matters. Consider yourself blessed with my authority. You may investigate the Moorborn presence as you see fit. Do not be so quick to offer your thanks. After all, you are doing all the work. Should you remove this Moorborn thorn from my side, I will have yet another reason to thank you. Go speak to your secretive allies. We have similar goals. For now. Please, listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. Hero, good to see you gone out of there in one piece. I understand that Omalexia can be a little rough on her toys. While you were getting cozy with the goddess, I discovered something interesting. The house Dresbom outside the city is on high alert. I saw the guards get violent with people for just walking by. They're using a courier named Thoraville to deliver bribes to house leaders and city officials. I think they're hiding something. You know me so well, but we'll need to get the courier's key. He's been picking up wine here, then delivering bottles around town. He tends to keep a bottle or two as he goes along. We might be able to use that to our advantage. Poison. Don't give me that look. It's not lethal poison. It'll just put him in a nice deep sleep. Follow him, and when he takes a sip from his bottle and falls over, you can grab his key. Don't get too cocky, hero. House Drez is full and far, and its agents are on edge. If the courier thinks he's being followed, he might get spooked. You want him relaxed enough to start drinking, got it? So keep your distance.
How's the wine downstairs? Did you find the special blend? Good. Now we wait for the courier to come pick it up. We don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. Stay close. There he is now. Closer. Come closer. No. Eyes front. Look at me. We're close friends. Closer. I said something funny. You're laughing. He just passed by. He's got the wine. Like what you see, Hero? Of course you do. He's almost at the door. Keep watching me. All right, he's out. Go! Someone there? Nonsense! I'm sure it's just a clerical error. You'll be in the Academy next season for sure! Yes, my vision dream speaks true. You are the one my mistress seeks. <laughs> I made it. Did you miss me? Find anything exciting before I got here? Well, well, well. See that? That's an impressive trapdoor for a simple farmhouse cellar. I love it when my hunches pan out. Isn't it obvious? Open the door. They must be hiding something good down there. Let's go see. I'm surprised how Strez managed to do anything with the ordinators on high alert. Not much gets past them, even when they're not looking for trouble. Part of me hopes that all we find are a bunch of old crates that nobody cares about. But I've got one of those feelings. And I'm pretty sure it involves the Marlborn.
What I want and what I do are usually very different things, my friend. Let's just get down there and see what's going on. With any luck, we'll be done before the corner club serves tonight's flaming Nick stew. And the drinks will be on me. About time you got here. What took you so long? Come on, let's see what's down here. Now this can't be right. Damn it! These tunnels were supposed to be sealed off. Well, into the fire and all that. Follow me. isn't good. I wish my partner Varon was here. He'd know what to do. Wait. No, I don't. Varon would wring my neck for being down here. So, um, fair warning. This could be bad. Real bad. This cave system, it links directly to the sewers beneath Mournhold. Well, to part of them. The sewers are more extensive than you'd think. That's why I couldn't find the Morborn. They can move through these tunnels without being noticed. Let's just say I've spent more than my share of time sneaking around beneath cities. If you've seen one sewer, you've seen them all. Protections were placed down here to hide people. People with blood on their hands. People like me. If they found a way to activate the Daedric Wards again, then the Morborn have a virtual hidden highway to use against us. That's not relevant right now, hero. Stay focused. Find the Morborn and figure out what they're up to. And we can talk about my sordid yet extremely intriguing past. I'll keep an eye out. Ah! Let me guess. The door won't open? There's got to be something controlling it. Look around a bit, and watch out for those creatures. They're... ugly.
job! I knew you could do it. Meet me inside. The wards. They're active. That's impossible. No one outside my organization should have been able to activate them. If the Moorborn are using this base, the entire city is in danger. No, they can't be. Maybe a splinter group or something? I don't know what to think. Not all of us exactly see eye to eye on our current situation, but to join up with the Moorborn? That's just idiotic. I suppose anyone with knowledge of the Daedric arts might be able to activate them. I'm not an expert on magic, you know. I need to warn somebody. Veron needs to know about this. Do what you do best. Rush in, swinging weapons, and tossing magic around like there's no tomorrow. If you find whoever activated the wards, get them to tell you what's going on down here. I know you will. That's why I ran into you on your way to the temple. I'll drop the ordinators an anonymous tip. Maybe even get word to your beloved goddess. Hopefully someone will show up to give you a hand. Just don't die on me, hero. Got that? It used to be. But we haven't used these halls in a long, long time. Not since we fell out of favor. Daedric magic permeates the air. Those who practice forbidden magic shall pay dearly for their crime. It seems I am in your debt again, champion. Your friend. She thinks to hide from me. But I heard her words of warning. She cares for you. But Verona is wounded. I shall take her to the Mage's Guild where she can receive care. 
find her there. You land striders are all insane. I know you. You were in the sewers, right? You saved me, didn't you? I don't remember much, but I remember you. I came to Mournhold a few weeks ago to visit some friends. I guess word got out that Atelvani was in the city because I suddenly found myself tied up in the sewers. The Moorborn. They kept badgering me about Daedric magic. Are you really so naive? House Telvani rejected membership in the Ebonheart Pact. We remain isolated, pursuing our own interests along the Telvani coast. That's just one of the reasons the other houses distrust us. Members of House Telvani are known for their knowledge of all types of magic. I guess they assumed I could make the old wards active again. I did what they wanted, eventually. It was either that or... I don't want to think about it. I don't care what you believe, but I never heard of the Morborn before I came to this vile city. And I certainly had no intention of betraying the Tribunal before they threatened me. I only know what I heard. I think they were planning an attack of some sort. They sent off a large group just before you showed up. I told all of this to the Sacred Lady. She said you would visit me and I should tell you to find an Ordinator. Just in time. The Sacred Lady asked us to watch for you. Indeed. The Sacred Lady wants you to know that she wasn't able to eliminate all of the pests you found in the sewers. So Amalexia believes. I was told to convey upon you the gratitude of the Tribunal, and to inform you that the Sacred Lady still has need of your services. And one more thing. The Sacred Lady wishes to speak with you. Personally. She awaits your presence. Please. Head to the temple at once. The Sacred Lady doesn't share all her secrets with those who serve her, but as far as I know, no attack has yet occurred within the confines of the city. We've been ordered not to discuss the entirety of the situation in public. To prevent panic, you understand. The Lady summons you. Go.
Some of my own children have betrayed me. I am rarely an angry god, but this time there shall be a reckoning. Rage consumes me. The Moorborn invade my home, they attack my children, they attack me. You have proven yourself loyal and capable. I call upon you to serve me once more. The Moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege must not stand. Banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat them, and then make your way to my altar. While you slay their minions, I shall determine what the Moorborn are really up to. Now go, and carry my divine rage with you. You shall hear, though you shall never speak of it. This enemy uses guile and subterfuge. I need time to understand the threat they pose. My divine defenses have been breached, and the temple has been invaded. I cannot be seen to fail. Appearances are everything. They feed opinion and belief, and such matters are important to me. But enough questions. Save the temple, and you will be renowned among mortals and favored by gods. I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an Oblivion Gate to fill the temple with Daedra. You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in place, drawing on the full power of the Tribunal. We must get you past those wards. Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. You have more than proven yourself to me. You have my blessing already. 
You would compound the sacrilege that has already been wrought upon our temple? No, that is unacceptable. If you will aid us, you will do it with our blessings, or not at all. Go to the cloisters of Vivek and Sothasil. My companion gods are absent, but they left trials I can activate to grant their blessings. Pass the trials, and you will be blessed. Vivek's trial will measure your clarity of judgment. He saw our blessed people through vexing times. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. Vivek's teachings often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned by listening and then acting. His challenge exemplifies that approach. You must listen, then act. A temple worker named Varman dueled Belron and Telvani, slaying him before witnesses. But Varman was a loyal spy. To incite such discord was against his nature. As Vivek did, speak with Varman. Determine who truly slew the Telvani. My lord Vivek, I bear the most grievous news. Belron and Telvani challenged me to a duel of blood. I regret to say, I won. It was a small cut upon the arm, enough to settle the matter. But he fell dead. I was advising Tolnus and Galtza when the others arrived, Belron and full of anger, Fenila a sneer on her lips, and Morami resigned to what came next. Belronan claimed I'd interfered in his affairs. He insisted I knew what he meant. Of course not. I told him so, but he claimed it a lie and challenged me to a first blood duel. Then everything turned to death. My blade ended his life and directly caused his turmoil. I willingly submit to your judgment, Lord Vivek. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Belronan's death, it was set in motion by another hand. I will aid you in discovering the source of this duel, if you will. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. She stoked the Telvani's rage, urging him not to back away from an insult to his honor. She called herself his friend. Curious way to show it. Fenila lent Belronin her blade before the duel. I insisted Vaman and Belronin swap weapons. You'd think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. One sworn to the temple, quibbling over coin. You should kill him yourself, my lord.
A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belronin's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvanni. A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belronin's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temp- Of course I sold her poison. As your keen eye no doubt realized, the writing on Varman's note to Belronin was my own. He sold forbidden relics, so I gave him the tools to shame himself and his house. I'm delighted he took me up on it. I did nothing but provide opportunity for a heretic to destroy himself. The act of dueling anyone within the temple would undo him. It's only fitting the Fetcher did so with the tools I presented, and with such finality. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not... Vanilla's words are incorrect, Lord Vivek, though she clearly believes them. I haven't contacted Balronin for months, and would never have done so without your direction. Wealth has no meaning next to serving you, my lord. This... Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Bel... Vanilla lent Belronin her blade before the duel. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me Morami sold me poison yesterday. I'd planned to hunt cliff races next week, but decided this was a better way to get rid of Vermin, so I poisoned the blade. Belronin should never have traded weapons. Worse, he should never have lost to Varman. My lord, the life of one such as Varman bears no comparison to Belron and Telvani. Yes, I sought to root corruption from the temple by poisoning that pile of scrib jelly. I'd do it again. I did nothing but provide opportunity for a heretic to destroy himself. The act of dueling... You walked in our skin and wrought our judgment. You exposed the lie at the core of all truth. This may be lost on you. It does not matter. We are echoes of Vivek. Nothing more. All things less. We recall the wisdom of his judgment, which differed from your own. You could not know. You are not Vivek. Both. Neither. We rewarded Vanilla for her cunning, yet House Redoran suffered for poisoning a Telvani in another's duel. We flayed Morami for her actions, yet elevated House Hlalu for its actions in exposing a heretic. Can you accept this truth? Through your wisdom and judgment, you have earned Vivek's favor. Receive our blessing. Seal values intelligence and ingenuity. He builds, he maintains, 
He is the master of his creations. He shall test these qualities in you. Sothasil has devised a test that allows him to learn more about you each time you complete it. You are to repair one of his clockwork toys, and then break it. All gears turn like the hurling disc. All artifice is ephemeral, and at times, parts are of more use than the whole. There, divine wisdom. Does that satisfy you? surpassed the Arbiter's trap. In doing so, you've revealed yourself to us. You do not fully comprehend. Such is your imperfection. We are the imperfection of Sothaseel, excised from his being, yet never truly apart. We measure the indulgence of inspiration against the necessities of progression. You will never know. You are not Sothaseel. Perfection can never truly be attained. By testing one's constantly degrading mechanism against this unknowable goal, you reveal the imperfections of your own device. Can you accept this necessity? For comprehending the necessity of imperfection, you have earned the blessing of Sotha Seal. Artifact. 
The judgment of Veloth is hers. I felt a burst of power from the temple and ventured within, fearing the worst. But you've prevailed. What have you discovered? I will discover what powers the judgment of Veloth possesses and why Vox has stolen it. In the meantime, you must pursue Magistrix Vox. For your heroism and service this day, I name you a Hand of Armalexia. Go with my blessing upon you. As Vox fled Mournhold, she went east. With the recent troubles, the Ordinators are on high alert. One of them saw her headed that way. To the east of Mournhold lies Selfora, a quiet village known for its independent spirit. Vox almost certainly passed through there. Start your search in Selfora. 